What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Crypto Tro, back with another video. And you know I'm bringing you the latest and the greatest. And today, man, we're talking about how you can stack more jewel. Especially right now, jewel price is very, very cheap. We see at 13 cents, down 3% on a day. And a lot of people, a lot of naysayers are saying, you know, jewel is tanking. But I just look at it as a, another way or another position you can get in to really lower your dollar cost average and i always say dollar cost averaging is your best friend over time so today we're going to talk about that and this method might already be it's very very straightforward nothing uh, too much of a hack or or nothing too much of alpha but it's just the way you can really just stack your jewel and i'm going to talk about that today we're going to talk about price and more but before we get into it make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications i'm going to continue to bring DeFi kingdoms content each and every chance i get because this is one of my favorite crypto projects and i do believe over you know long periods of time this project will succeed and be very successful in a crypto gaming space not only just the gaming space but in a crypto space in general everything that they are doing is rev really revolutionary man they're really changing the landscape on how we view crypto gaming and DeFi and all other sectors of crypto as well so we're going to talk about that we're going to get into price first so let's talk about it DeFi Kano's Jewel is at 13 cents right now down three percent on a day market cap is at 9.9 .9 million dollars ranked 759 so love to see market cap under 10 million right now because i believe we can easily hit 100 million in the bull market 100 million plus in my personal take on things um just because everything the team is doing is really revolutionary with you know the tokenomics with you know how they plan on doing all of the different gaming things in the game like pvp pve uh, we got DeFi. so this is really a uh, all-inclusive crypto project and i believe that's what's going to be the future i believe you know in the future we will be earning money by playing these games on the blockchain and everybody's going to have a specific job and everybody's going to find their niche on how they can make money it's not going to be only just one way to make money it's going to be multiple ways and the people who find those ways and are the best at that specific thing that they do then they're going to be more profitable than others of, others of course but as you know price appreciates i believe you know jewel is your best friend you know to hold so let's get straight into it let's talk about it how can you earn more jewel and it's very simple guys this is a very simple method i'm not saying anything you guys don't know already um, but i just had to bring this video because a lot of people are asking me okay i got heroes but what is one of the safest ways to pretty much guarantee a return in this game and i always tell people jewel if you're looking to hold a specific crypto jewel is that specific crypto now me personally i do believe the utility tokens crystal and j will go up over time but right now i wouldn't just hold those tokens i probably would use you know my crystal or j to buy heroes and just appreciate my heroes in the long term just because i believe heroes are going to be more uh profitable than you know actually holding the crystal and jade because you know heroes are going to appreciate just because once you level them up they become more valuable even common heroes they become more valuable once you level them, them up and especially if you are level le leveling them up the correct way then they are going to be way more crystal cause way more crystal or jade than when you first bought it especially if you think prices of the yo's utility tokens will go up but i do believe at the end of the day jewel is going to be your best friend when it comes to uh playing DeFi kingdoms or not necessarily playing it because you need you know crystal and jay but when it comes to investing in the actual technology the actual blockchain dfk chain uh, when it comes to what is going to be the best one to hold in my personal opinion is jewel because of the deflationary things that's going but on behind the scenes we know burns are continuing to happen with every transaction and then we know locking up jewel is taking more out of circulation so let's get into it how can you stack this is one of my wallets let's talk about it so right now our 
these are some of the items I have in this particular wallet. And I always say, man, the Trader and the Bazaar, since they introduced the Bazaar, that's going to be something major too if you plan on trading items that have low liquidity. But once you go to the Trader, you can absolutely, you know, those items like tiers and rooms, you can trade those items for jewels. So let's just say right now I got in this particular wallet, I got about 41 tiers man so when we scroll down let me just matter of fact i'm just gonna type it tiers and i got 41 tiers right here and if we do uh tiers to jewel and we do the 41 to you know to jewel we can see that's about 1.3 jewel and i know that's not a lot but as you continue to play the game as you continue to get more heroes more items will drop so that's one thing i always say you gotta have heroes to earn more jewel especially if you don't want to plan or plan on actually buying jewel you can use your heroes to sell off your jewel or you know use your heroes to sell off these in-game assets to huddle more jewel it just depends on what your strategy is now me personally i use some of my heroes to sell off into crystal to buy more heroes to eventually get more items and then i can sell them off and turn them into jewel so the more heroes you have in this specific strategy the better it is because you will get more in-game items and then you will have more items to sell into jewel but first you will have to sell them items into crystal in order to purchase more heroes so first get get heroes you know sell off quests of course quests and then sell off those items to get more crystal and then buy more heroes and then sell the items from the heroes that you bought and turn them into jewel <laughs> so i know there was a lot you can slow it down i know i'm probably talking a little fast for you but that is just a strategy that you can use to stack your jewel but first you have to get heroes especially if you don't plan on introducing or plan on providing new liquidity into the actual game you can just buy more heroes and then use your heroes to stack that bag and continue to stack that bag and no i always say the the better the hero the more items you will get but you can still buy floor heroes floor heroes are under a dollar so you can still get those floor heroes and still get those items in game and then sell those items off into crystal buy more heroes and then buy more jewel and like i said with the trader you can you know use specific items that have a lot of liquidity now you want to make sure that item has a lot of liquidity and to sell it into jewel or you can go to the bazaar and do it do the same thing if you have specific items um that are low on liquidity you can use the bazaar to trade your items into jewel and that's always a good way to stack more jewel. And then also, you can even go to the jeweler, man. The jeweler also is going to be one of your best friends because the APR on the jeweler, although it's not as high, you can use that jewel that you stack. And while you're waiting for that jewel to appreciate, you can put it in a jeweler and get a small amount of APR in the jeweler. And then fees also occur with this. So you're going to continue to stack that jewel and can stack continue to uh, rinse and repeat with this method man you're going to continue to get more jewel and really stack your bags with jewel so that's my video just a short way how you can continue to stack your jewel in this bear market while prices are super super cheap i me personally i would say buy jewel since it's super cheap but if you don't want to put any new money into the game and you just want to stack it just rinse and repeat use your heroes sell off items stack your crystal you can buy floor heroes and then start building a hero army where you know that you're getting all these in-game assets and selling them off into jewel put it in a jeweler and just wait until it appreciates getting that apr and all those transaction fees and all the things like that so crypto troll that's my video for today i'm out of here